I'm Steve from Spark Agile, and this is the Agile Gardener. This is a companion video for my Agile forecasting with Monte Carlo simulation up on screen now, so check that out if you haven't seen it yet. In that video, I show you how to get your cycle time in order to understand how long it takes you to deliver any single story regardless of size 85% of the time and then using Monte Carlo simulation, where the real magic happens, how to forecast how long it takes to deliver any number of stories with the same 85% probability of it happening. However, it does rely on you getting hold of the source data. And if you're using Jira, then you'll probably know that there is no native way of doing this, which by the way, at Lashen is a real pain, so sort it out. So this video focuses on how you can extract the data needed from Jira. Okay, so the only way you can get to the data we need, which is the date at which any story transitioned to a status, such as to do or done, is by using a third-party plugin from the Atlassian Marketplace. Now, there are a lot of plugins out there that can do this, but the two best that I've come across are Time in Status and Easy BI. Now, both of them work with either the cloud, server, or data center version, but unfortunately, neither are free, I'm afraid. And as you probably know, all of the apps from the marketplace are either a cost per month or a cost per year, which usually gives you a bit of a discount. Now, Easy BI is the more comprehensive of the two, and you can pretty much extract anything you want out of Jira with this, but it's a little bit more expensive and a lot more complicated to use, which we will see later. You can see the subscription pricing here for time in status. It does obviously depend on how many users you have and whether you're using the cloud, server or data center version. But for a thousand cloud users, it's currently $3,350 annually. And here we have the Easy BI subscription pricing, which is very similar, but it does cost a little bit more. A thousand cloud users coming in at $4,750 annually. And my preference is time and status, as it's quick and easy, but it's more limited than Easy BI. So if you don't have either, then Easy BI might be easier to sell as you do get a lot more functionality with it. Either way, they will both pay for themselves as with this data, which Jira cannot surface itself via any of its built-in functionality or by writing JQL queries to the accuracy level we need, you'll be able to accurately forecast when you can deliver 100, 1,000, 10,000 stories with an 85% probability of it actually happening. Now to me, that is worth its weight in gold. So if you haven't already seen my Agile forecasting with Monte Carlo simulation, you'll find a link to that at the end. Okay, so let's jump in and see how they work. Let's start with time in status first. So after time in status has been installed onto your Jira system by the admins, it will appear under the apps menu at the top of the screen. So we'll select time in status and it will load the app. There are a number of filters you can use along the top to narrow your results. I'm just going to narrow my results to select only stories to appear under the issue type dropdown. Next, we need to choose which type of report we want to see. The time in status has a number of different reports, but the one we're interested in is called status transition dates. So we'll select that. And there you go. You can see all the transition status dates for our stories. To export this, we just click on more and select export, which downloads a CSV file. So we'll open that in Excel. And here we have the data we need to work out our cycle times and the base data needed for Monte Carlo simulation. So there you go, easy. Okay, now let's take a look at Easy BI. I always smile when I say Easy BI as I have never found it particularly easy to use at all. Anyway, here we go. So as before, once the app has been installed by the admins, you'll find it under the apps menu. So we'll select Easy BI and it will load up. One thing to note is that time in status is real time, but Easy BI schedules its data ingestion from Jira, usually once or twice a day. First, we'll select Analyze and then select New Report. So this is what you're presented with when you start a new report. Basically, all Easy BI reports are controlled by these three areas, pages, rows, and columns. You'll see this section at the top called Dimensions. What you do is place these dimensions into either pages, rows, or columns to build your report. Measures, which sits by default in columns, can be used to select what you want to see, but we'll get to that shortly. Okay, first we'll move the dimension issue into the row section so that we'll be able to read across the report details about our issues. Then move the dimension transition, time, and issue type to the pages section. We'll use transition to filter what type of transition we want to see time to filter by time period and issue type to filter on what type of issue to display. I usually only want to see stories. One thing to mention is I'm using a basic home version of Jira here, but if you're in an organization, you will have an extra dimension at the top of the screen called team. So if you see it, move team into the pages section also. That way you can filter by team as well. Finally, move the dimension transition status into the columns section. Now expand measures 
deselect issue created and select transition status to last date and then close measures. Now filter by story under the all issues type drop down and then filter by the transitions you want to see under the all transitions drop down. I only want to see the dates when stories went into to do and when they went into done as these are the two statuses I want to use for cycle time and ultimately Monte Carlo simulation. Then expand the page to see the results. Under transition status in the column section deselect all transition statuses and in the hide empty drop down select rows and columns. And there you have it, the same data that time and status got us but in a more complicated way. Select the little arrow here and choose Excel to download the data. So we'll open this with Excel and we see the data ready to do our cycle time analysis on it. So Easy BI is more complicated but you can do so much more with it. If you've got any value from this please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. You might also want to check out my video on how to create the macro needed in Excel to run Monte Carlo simulation thousands of times up here now. For other Agile tools you'll probably find that you're able to extract the source data without having to get external plugins but with Azure DevOps you will definitely need to create a Power BI report. Any questions on this please drop me a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Right that's it for this one and I hope this has helped you with extracting data from Jira and I'll see you in the next one.